Elijah Wilson seconds after hitting a buzzer beater. How did that feel? It felt great. Uh, I didn't shoot the best. I, I actually shot terrible today. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the 11 o'clock start. Uh, but God, he blessed the kid today, and, and we needed this win. So I'm glad that we can go out and get it done. Seems like your group battled through a lot today. What was the difference in your ability to pull it out? Um, our defense. I think we just kind of wanted to make that a huge factor. Uh, we knew coming in it was going to be a tough win uh, for us to try to get a game, for us to try to get. But we're slowly starting to string them together, and I think that's kind of what the attitude came in today. It was just like, just get it done by any means, just get it done. Hey, you said it, just get it done by any means. Looking big picture, what did you learn about your group tonight as you make that push for the playoff? Our hunger is starting to get back. Uh, I, mean, I think it's slowly starting to get back, and we said that after All-Star break, it was going to be a reset for us, and we're slowly, <laughs> we're slowly starting to build it. So I love to see that in my team and the resiliousness that uh, we're, we're playing with. So we got one more on this road trip, so we got to go try to get this win in Dallas um, and then keep it moving. Thank you. Congrats. Yeah. Asia Wilson, she's got high standards for herself. She said, I didn't shoot that great, but I mean, come on. Most 20-point games in a season, Asia Wilson is up there twice, and she's in good company with DT and Stewie. Again, she had the uh, game-winning field goal as time expired today, where the Aces got the win over Chicago 77-75. And let's bring in our basketball analyst, Isis Young, who is joining us from Chicago there. You were on the call for that broadcast. And Isis, before we get into it, it's so loud behind you. We saw the highest of highs, lowest of lows, back and forth from every team. <laughs> Just kind of paint the picture of the environment that you're in right now after that exciting finish. Oh my gosh, honestly, my heart is still beating a little bit. I was jumping as shots were being made when Kennedy Carter knocked down her triple to send it to, uh, you know, the Aces getting the ball back with a minute left, with a second left, and then, you know, Asia Wilson's play. I just think how beautifully drawn up was it from Becky Hammond, but the environment in here was like a championship level environment. This felt like game five of a finals or semifinals. A lot of these players just with so much pride when they play each other. And so it was such a great game, such a competitive game. And like Ashley said, a thriller. Um, Isis, I want to get into, into the Aces, right? Because Asia Wilson certainly came up clutch again for this team when it mattered. She leads the way in points. But we did see the defending champs struggle for certain points of the game. But what did you like about how they were able to hold on and ultimately come out on top down to the absolute final seconds and down to the wire there? You have to acknowledge that there is a ton of pressure surrounding the Las Vegas Aces, right? They're back-to-back -back champs going for a three-peat. They have the best player in the world. But what I saw was just a team step up. I thought Megan Gustafson knocked down some triples when she needed to. She made timely plays, getting her first career start today under Becky Hammond. And then Kelsey Plum, with the way that she was able to probe the defense, get inside the paint, score, and facilitate. And then lastly, you saw Chelsea Gray come alive at the end and also knock down some shots. What we know about the Aces, they have the best player in the world, but they're roster is stacked and when you have to guard all five players on the court at one time it makes them tough to guard I liked how they bounced back today how they played together unselfish basketball that's how they were able to get the win when we talk about the sky of course Kennedy Carter she was absolutely phenomenal she had 25 points that extremely clutch three-point shot but we got to talk about Angel Reese as well notching her third straight 20 rebound game mm. tying the rookie single season record for double doubles how impressive has she been to you during this run for Chicago Oh, terrifically impressive. I mean, there's there was no expectation for Angel to come into this league and to be leading the league in rebounding, to have uh, almost setting the record, on the brink of setting the record for the most double doubles in a rookie year. She needs one more, and then she'll break that record. I think she's been tremendous. I think she's been a sponge. She's here to learn, to grow. She's worked on her versatility during the Olympic break, and she is helping Chicago build something really special here for the future. I think she's been extremely impressive, and equally so has Kennedy Carter. Her, not with just her game and the way that she's played, but the leadership that you're seeing from her, the composure down the stretch. It's so amazing when you find players who love playing for a coach and Teresa Witherspoon and what that means. And you can tell that that exists here in Chicago. And these young players for Chicago, they are going to make their mark on the W if they can stay together. Mark my words, guys, in a couple of years, this will be a championship contending team if this nucleus can stay together. Yeah, certainly a bright future ahead for Chicago. Currently eighth in those WNBA standings. ISIS, we certainly appreciate 
appreciate it. A fantastic job on the call. Thank you so much for making the time in this crazy, insane game where the Aces came out on top, defeating the Sky in that matchup on CBS. Getting a look at the upcoming schedule, the uh, Vegas Aces, they're going to be in action on August 27th against Dallas, and they have the Dream, Mercury, the Sky again on September 3rd, and then the Sun, who are also a title contending team. As for the Sky, they have the Mystics on deck on August 28th, followed by the Fever and Caitlin Clark, the Lynx, the Aces, of course, again on September 3rd, and then rounding it out with the Sparks on September 6th.